for years I've been talking about democratic policies are the policies most Americans say that they want. Now, everybody knows that the polls are closing. The generic poll has that Americans have 46% want Democrats, 46% want Republicans. But what is of more consequence was a blind poll that was done by Emerson, by, by NBC. And it goes this way. We list out the policies that Democrats say they want and the policies that Republicans are campaigning on and policies that are campaigning on, okay? And we see what it is that people really want. I want you to check this out and then we'll take it on the other side because this proves everything that we constantly say. If we can get away from partisanship, we will get the we will actually get democratic values, progressive values. Check this out and then we'll take it on the other side. Exactly 49 days until the midterm elections and the latest NBC News poll shows that it might not be the wave election that many were expecting. The head-to-head matchup for congressional preference has evened out to a dead heat. And while Republicans lead on the economy, border security and immigration, Democrats hold an all-time high advantage on abortion and a double-digit lead on the issue of health care. Two very different campaign approaches with these platforms. At this point in the past three elections, there was a clear advantage in the generic congressional head to head right now not happening this go around. Yeah, it is really close, Peter, is our congressional preference or generic ballot ends up showing. It's important, though, to note that that congressional uh, generic ballot is just one metric that we end up using to look. Others would be the president's approval rating, looking at the direction of the country. But when you actually look at who people are voting for right now, it shows a really close race. And it's a lot closer than it had been. Clearly, issues like abortion, as well as Donald Trump's increased presence on the national stage has really ended up boosting democratic enthusiasm. And that interest in the election enthusiasm really matters in a midterm election where not as many people vote as you would see in a presidential. And so getting your people motivated and inspired, that has actually happened for Democrats. But on the other side, Republicans see a lot of those uh, traditional metrics breaking in their favor. They, they have the advantage on the economy. They see a president who, while has rebounded in his approval rating, is still at 45 percent, which is danger zone. We did through this NBC News poll, courtesy our bipartisan pollsters. They put together the sort of messaging of both sides, but they did it generically here. They said, hey, so if there's one guy who's saying this and another guy or gal who's saying the following, where do you lead? And this was striking. The one with the platform mirroring Democrats leads by 14 percentage points and more than 20 percent of Republicans picked that platform as well. So explain why the Democrats platform is polling better than for the Democrats themselves. The message sticks, but maybe not the idea of being a Democrat right now. I suspect given Joe Biden's numbers, as much as they've grown, they're still not high enough. Yeah, Peter, it's important to know what we ended up doing. We actually took out the words Democrats and Republicans, Biden and Donald Trump, to ask a straight midterm message on what's testing better. And candidate Jones, and this was the Democratic message, this is somebody who wants lower prescription drug prices, uh, lower health care costs, wants to increase taxes on the corporations, wants to protect democracy, be against election deniers. That's your democratic message. When you actually put that up against candidate Smith, which is the Republican message on gas prices are way too high. We need change. Grocery prices are high. We need immigration. COVID lockdowns, you know, have damaged our kids test scores. Uh, The democratic message candidate Jones ended up doing better by 14 percentage points than the Republican one. What's actually going on here. And I think that we see this democratic message that our pollsters devised testing pretty well for Democrats, but that's just one component of politics. So you to put Democrat, Republican, Biden, uh, and those actually also just having those kind of brandings move numbers as well. And I get it. I get it. You When you put, well, as soon as you attach party to it, the numbers change, but that can be fixed. That can be fixed with good messaging. I want to, before I get into the subject about policies, right? I want folks to know the absolute fact The absolute fact over the last several decades, you can look at the numbers, the economy does better under Democrats than it does under Republicans. There's no question about it. The the numbers that the GDP points out, the numbers that the GNP points out, the numbers of uh, that that people that that every particular number that you can actually physically see, Democrats are up 
ahead in economic productivity and everything than Republicans are. I mean, it, it's not it's not even a, a contest. There is a marginal difference in governance, and that one leads to better economic for the entire economics for the entire country. The other ones uh, leave some good economics for just the upper top of, of our of our spectrum. So again, Democrats have seeded business. They have seeded that the economy is somehow a strong point of Republicans. The economy is actually one of the weakest points of Republicans. In fact, Bush number two crashed the economy. Trump crashed the economy. Bush number one with Reagan crashed the economy till Reagan got the bump from the, the, the going back into spending again and starting to govern like a Democrat. So let's, as far as starting to spend like a Democrat is what I should say. So let's let's be clear here. Republicans never had a never had better economies than Democrats. Democrats always have better economic numbers than Republicans because they know how to govern in a better manner for all. Now that said, I've been talking about we should never see the policies to Republicans because the policies that that progressives want, the policies that Democrats want. If you take a look at a speech that I that I play all the time from Elizabeth Warren back at Netroots Nation, I think it was 2015 or 2014, I don't remember which one it was, she came out and she enumerated all the policies, progressive policies, and then did a poll on every progressive policy. And for every single progressive policy, 60% or more Americans wanted those policies, which already states or makes clear that Republicans wanted those policies too. And in this this new poll uh, conducted by NBC, where they gave a generic Smith and a generic Jones Jones, uh, what they gave is, without giving you a party line, they asked, which policies do you support? Which message do you support? And most Americans supported the Democratic message, but it goes further. Over 20% of Republicans also preferred the Democratic message, which says, if 20% of the Republicans, if the Republicans make up about 25% of the country or so. So, that would say that if 20% of the people of them are Republicans actually wanted democratic policies, Democrats continue to have a super majority in the policies that they support. They need to start acting that way. They need to start building on the truth. They need to start pointing this out, not only to Democrats, but going into Republicans. This poll should be all over the place. This is what you want. And most Republicans do, too. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel. And number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.